Welcome back to the Solo Promoter YouTube channel. It is time for some more Go Fight Pal fun. And uh, we have another little bit of an unboxing here. I was catching up on some orders to fill in some spots in my collection of Go Fight Pal. I'm getting close to just needing a handful of cards, but uh, those that's where the, the process becomes a bit harder. So before we open this, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I want to thank all my Patreon patrons who help make the videos on this channel possible. And uh, yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's open this package up and see what is inside. There we go. Reaching in here. All right. So uh, here's one of the first things I got, International Incident 2. Uh, I had the first one. I don't know why I did not have this one. Um, I, I must have just missed ordering it or didn't see that it was available. Really, if you want to get into GoFiPal, the main place is the message boards. Uh, there's other places to go check out things, but like... The message boards, which I'll link to in the in the show notes here, are really the place to keep abreast of all the sets that are coming out. So we've got U.S. Steel. We've got Thunder Gold, who is my current IFC champion. I'll have to look at this card and see if I'll replace him uh, with this card. I don't know. We, we shall see. But there's Thunder Gold. Uh, there's Warzone. Here is Lionheart. Here's Scorpius. Looks like he's got a tag team par partner here. Scorpius and Superion. Uh, so they are, are a duos. Oh, he's he's got an interesting finisher. Add a finisher number to the stinger each time it is rolled. Uh, so you can add a uh, two, a three, a four, each time he, he rolls that. Uh, Superion Slam, Tenchi Splash. If a finisher fails to win, it's no longer to be used in the fight. Interesting, interesting. Interesting cards there. Danish Dynamite. I may have had this card, or maybe this is a redo of a card. But this looks very familiar. I might be thinking of something else, though. Uh, here's Pink Floyd Rose, Rosedale. Pink Floyd Rosedale. Yikes. He's got, <laughs> he's, uh, he's got a lot of pops. He's got no reversals, all pops. Definitely an um, enhancement talent. And Grande Reyes uh, with the conch clunch. All right, so there's International Incident 2. Very happy to have that. And I believe these are some belts. Yes, I ordered some belts because I didn't have any glitter belts. So I will have to put this belt on, uh, pick one of these belts to put on Fiona, who is the current glitter champ. And just a nice little set of belts. Uh, these little adhesive belts are a lot of fun. You can just stick them right on the front of uh, some of these. Yeah, some of these I already have. I just ordered the whole set of belts just because I wanted to get the um, the glitter belts. Uh, but they're totally fun. You can just stick them right on the front of the of the plastic cards. So, for example, if Thundar, well, Thundar is not going to be the glitter champion, but. You know, you, and you can kind of trim them to, like, they, they do fit kind of a little bit uh, right across there. They're already pre-scored um, there, which is really great. Uh, so you just put it right in the center like that, and then you got your Glitter Champion. In fact, let's just do it. Let's do it. I got my Fiona card right here. So here is the uh, Glitter Champion. So show you how easy this is to do. Peel it off right there. Now, of course, you'll want to make sure that it's centered. And I like to leave a little bit of a space at the bottom. Uh, that looks about right. Not bad, not bad. They're kind of high. It's a little crooked. It's a tiny bit crooked. It's a little 
hair off being perfectly straight, but you know what? That's fine. So there you go. Glitter now has their uh, championship belt. And uh, what did I do with my rubber band? But there you go. And then the last thing here I got was uh, the deck of heck. And you've seen this on the channel before, um, but uh, I just wanted to support because like, I, I was kind of the person who was like, hey, how can I get this? And I got one from uh, another promoter, but then um, I wanted to just support that uh, Eric reprinted them. So, uh, and it looks like I got a bonus Hot Flash Cash and Snoochie card. I think I ordered those extra to have for trading purposes later on down the, down the line. Um, so there you go, the old Decca Heck reprinted. So if you missed out on it, you can get it now at uh, the old thing. Draw a card after winning a Rumble rating by three or more points. Can only hold three cards at a time. Reshuffle the deck after each fight. Once a deck is exhausted per fight, it is no longer for play in that fight. Cards with instant wing combos are to be discarded after one try. One use card. Okay, so we'll, let's play a match. We'll use uh, some of our international incident folks here. Uh, let's see. Let's do Danish Dynamite versus Warzone. Um, Reroll one time if no pop gained. All right. Uh, and we will use the deck of heck. Let me get the rules out. Uh, still, I've only played it once and you've seen it here on the channel. So uh, we'll make sure this is well shuffled. So uh, you draw a card after winning a rumble rating by three or more points. Uh, so we will see what happens here. Keep the deck of heck uh, over here. We got Warzone. Let me move these cards out of the way. Warzone versus Danish, uh, Danish Dynamite. And uh, Warzone will be red. Danish Dynamite will be green. And uh, we roll a one, we roll a three, neither of those fast forward. Danish Dynamite gets it. Rumble rating right off the top. So we've got a plus three and a plus uh, two. And that is a four. And that is a seven. So Warzone, I guess to draw a card, carbon copy. You blast the opponent with his own finisher. They have to defend versus their own finisher and pop numbers. Uh, this is a keeper. Keep in hand can only be used once. So Warzone has that. Um, and um, let's see, he can use the Tavoli Twister against Danish Dynamite. Uh, but he's going to hang on to that card. We're going to see what happens here. Uh, Warzone still in control. Straight Jacket Suplex blocked by the Danish Dynamite. Another straight jacket suplex. Danish Dynamite reverses it with a Copenhagen clamp uh, dodged by Warzone. And there's another Copenhagen clamp, keeps it locked in. Warzone breaks out, reverses it, rolls the lockdown lariat, and that's going to hit the pop. Uh, so the pop, uh, Danish Dynamite wants to avoid a two. He rolls a two. Now he needs a six in order to stay in the game. And he rolls a one. So Warzone defeats Danish Dynamite uh, right there with... Um, I'll have to look back and see what the move is. But uh, didn't even get to use his uh, carbon copy card. Uh, well, there you go. There's a new unboxing. There is the deck of heck. Uh, again, links to GoFightPow, links to the message board down below. Uh, so you can check out all this fun stuff. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Big shout out to all of our Patreon patrons. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.